Hey, my name is Kiara Mehmet. Hi, my name is Juanita. Hi, I'm Erin. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm one of the third year fashion design students here at the Masters. Uh, we just finished presenting to the panel for Melbourne Fashion Week and it was honestly like the scariest thing I've ever done, ever. It was definitely a nervous experience. I just waiting in that room to be called in and of course I was the last one. But I did it and hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> Kind of a cross between very avant-garde festival wear with a mix of the Harajuku vibe of Japan. Really driven from architectural and structured features and really the scaffolding underneath buildings before they come about. It's kind of this mix between punk and feminine, so very bold. Based on a dystopian sort of futuristic society with very uh, survival wear, it's very referenced from like outdoor recreational activities such as camping. It has a lot of like toggles and performance fabrics and tenting sort of finishes, so it's kind of stuff like that. So I did a two year gap year after school because I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I think that was probably the best thing for me because it gave me time to mature and to really know exactly what I kind of wanted to do. So I kind of grew up sewing or oh, hand stitching, just whatever fabric scraps were around, just sticking them together. Just since I was younger, I've always been sketching and it was something I really thought I had a passion in. Ever since a young age, I was always drawing and painting things and going outside and painting trees and getting in trouble for it and just stuff like that. So I, I've always been interested in art and decorating things and just pretty things. I think after a certain amount of years, I kind of, once I was allowed to dress myself, my mum wasn't laying up my clothes for me anymore. I think I just started to go down this path of all these possibilities that what you can wear and how you can express yourself. And I think I kind of just, it developed from there, just my love of fashion. And from then on, I've kind of just always known this is what I wanted to go into. My dream would probably be to have a Designing my own range, being stocked all over Australia and hopefully around the world. I really do hope to see myself with a business of my own. I'd say I'd love to see my designs, I guess, being worn by musicians that do play at festivals. I'd also, I think, like to have a store in Harajuku as well. I think that would be really cool. So I definitely want to be in fashion. I think I want to be designing, but I don't know what aspect I really want to go into. I think I'm just going to ride the wave and see what happens. Just seeing your finalised product from your sketch at the start to seeing it on a model and on a mannequin. So that is really what's pushed me through this last year as much as it's hectic and the deadlines and the crazy hours, but the end product is what really makes everything all worth it. It's so unique to the individual. You can literally be whoever you want to be. If you're walking down the street, people don't know who you are as a person. They don't know where you've come from, your story or who you are, but what you're wearing speaks so much about your personality. The way you dress can just tell a story, I guess. If I got into Melbourne Fashion Week, I've kind of been preparing for the worst, so I've kind of just expected that I won't get in, so I won't get hurt if I don't get in or whatever. But if I do get in to Melbourne Fashion Week, I will be ecstatic because obviously it's like an opportunity of the lifetime. I think we all went really well, but they couldn't really give away anything. So we're kind of just hoping for the best and we're here back in a couple of weeks. So 